This is Longtime Gamer Venry Fairden introducing Uncle Troy's Minecraft videos. Hello there, folks. This is your Uncle Troy. Today we're playing a little Minecraft, hanging out here at the pig spawner. <laughs> Actually, it's a skeleton spawner. Um, just uh, smelted a whole lot of uh, iron and gold, and uh, am trying to uh, decide how to get best get back to a uh, home base. And naturally, the second I spend a whole lot of time. Hello. Did you see those blocks just come back after I dug them up? Usually when I start seeing magic block elves, it means I'm about to lose my connection. Okay, and as I was saying, no sooner than I uh, smelt a lot of iron ore than I find some ore, but I realize now that I smelted a whole stack of iron ore, but I still had uh, another partial s stack that I didn't, so... We're still carrying more stuff. Let's see, what have we here? This is sand. Which probably means we're under a lake or sea or something. So I may just want to uh, swim up out of the way, but whoops. Where's a, there's a lot. Okay. I was about to say. Or I might just... Uh, get swept over here into another part of the cave. There you go. You two fight it out. Alright, so apparently... Oh, hello. We have at least a couple of different uh, areas of the cave here that have yet to be explored. And I'm a lot closer to uh, the surface now than I was. No chance of finding diamond up here. But it wouldn't hurt to uh, pick up some more of this iron. I just like iron. In fact, I'm pretty sure when I get back to base, I'm going to make me an iron block and put it somewhere just to brag about how much iron I have. And it looks like this is an area I have been in before. And apparently I did not explore very well. And it's possible it wasn't me. It's possible it's somebody else from my server. About three of us active right now. Well, no matter where you go, you get more uh, iron. And how are we for coal? 40, yeah, we can pick up a few extra coal while we're here. And some more iron. Even more of a cave which has already been explored for the most part. This is... Huh. Well, we've been here before. Hey, wait a minute. We have been here before. I remember this. I come down here. Yeah. So we'd always agreed we were going to come back and explore this anyway. And I just came down from down there. So we can go this way. I was about to say there's iron right up here. That we didn't uh, get last time. Alrighty. So we still haven't found... Hello. That'll wake you up in the morning. I eat when I'm nervous. And three. And there's another one. That shouldn't have happened. <laughs> Should not have happened. Let's see. Not sure what all's down there, but it looks like something that needs to be explored. Some type of... Aha! Uh -huh. What is this? Ah! Apparently that was another skeleton spawner. Which, uh, <laughs> ah, stupid, stupid skeletons. Apparently that was a skeleton spawner, which got blew up by a creeper, and I guess that's why we don't have creeper spawners. <laughs> because they would just blow up their own spawners, and it wouldn't be, uh, too much of a challenge to, uh, to beat them. 
Let's see. Up or down? Up or down? I think I shall go down for now. And I know we just said we were going to go up. But then I thought, oh, wait a minute. Down means diamond. And I currently have... I currently have an unlucky 13 diamonds. Which I probably need to... Uh, so I need to find one. Or make a diamond implement of some sort. Alrighty, uh, I have more iron to go. I'm going to get rid of... No, I don't want to get rid of the lapis. No, I've got an extra thing of gravel again. I need to keep an eye out for that. Alright, where was that uh, overhang that had... Uh, there we are. We'll try up here. I think I'm seeing things move down there. Ah, yes I am. We have skeletons. I'm sorry. You two really need to work this out. You know, violence is never the answer. There's always a way we can talk things out and um, just come to a mutual understanding. Why can't we just all get along? Okay. In real life, when I'm dealing with... Uh, Hostile situations at work, I do a much better job of pretending to be concerned than that. I think, yes. I see a creeper. Is it just me, or did the creatures see you from further away now than they used to? I was about to say, that rock formation down there looks like a skeleton. Because <laughs> that is a skeleton. All right, back, 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 because I just had a thought. All right, 20 pieces of wood. So I think that uh, means I'm good for a while. Wood is good. And 40-something pieces of coal. Wouldn't hurt to get a few more. All righty. So my limiting factor right now, I believe, is my wood. Because I will run out of wood before I run out of food, I think. And I'm going to have to go back to shooting people, I think, because um, I've got arrows just stacking up on me. And here I thought I was wasting time digging up uh, coal when there's plenty of iron hidden behind it. I know I'm about to jinx myself, but I think I'll be leaving this cave system soon, and I will have... Uh, pretty much explored all of it, he said. Where did I see iron? There it is. I'm just going to be an iron, uh, iron monger, is that a word? Hmm, this looks almost like we're in a ravine. You know, many, many episodes ago, I think about three, <laughs> Uh, hello, whoops, huh, okay, uh, almost walked into lava there, didn't I, um, I said, when I was, uh, checking out the village, I said something like, and I think there's a ravine over here behind the village, so, um, that iron is going to stay there, I think, so I think we may now be in that ravine I was looking for, when I was leaving the village, or at least part of a ravine. Don't know anymore. Let's just uh, stick to the cave here. I like exploring caves. I don't care much for ravines. Ravines have bad things that jump on top of you. Like that. <laughs> You know, I've gone through a stack and a half of melons. I don't think I would have gone through half a stack of uh, 
of bread, and I know our beef would have lasted a lot, lot longer. I'm going to say that that doesn't go anywhere. That's just a few odd open areas up there. Ah! And that's why you never dig straight up, kids. I was about to say what just hit me, but apparently... I'm going to say I was killed by damage caused by a lost connection. Uh, connection lost, internal exception, Java net socket, exception, connection reset, back to title screen. All right, let me see if I can figure out what the problem is, and I will get back to you. Okay, and we're back. And I'm not sure exactly where we are. I think, yeah, here we are. All right, looks like we got some chunk errors over there, showing we have uh, what is that? Lava, dark caves. It's night time. The moon is out. Yeah, I was over about here when a zombie that didn't exist attacked me, and somehow we got teleported all the way back to here. I. Actually, I'm tired of exploring caves. I'm ready to do something else for a while. Build or sit at the mob grinder and uh, pick up experience. Anything except explore caves. But I also have the feeling that once I leave this cave, I'll never find it again. Yeah. And since I may never find this cave again, I want to make sure that I explore it to its fullest. Here's another one of these that goes down into the deep darkness. And there was a time when I'd be afraid to do this. Geronimo! Oops. Should have been a little more afraid that time. But I saw a Let's Play. I forget who did it. It was pretty early in Minecraft's history. And I saw somebody do that. Somebody just jumped down into a cave having no idea how to get back. And this was before compasses. You know, so... By going down that cave, he was probably saying, I will never be back. There's a hole there. Wonder. Nope, apparently it doesn't go anywhere. Up, 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 breathe, breathe. And that just impressed the heck out of me that that man uh, jumped down into a waterfall and just rode it to wherever it came out. Because I was uh, at the point playing Minecraft that uh, if I didn't stay within sight of my base, you could just forget about me ever uh, coming back to it. All right, well, that little jump into uh, that waterfall would have been more impressive had I actually gone anywhere and done anything. I hear a spider. Hmm. I think that's the most gravel I have ever seen in one place in Minecraft. Yep, I'm hearing uh, hear a pig. I don't think I've seen a pig yet in this game. Well, I take that back. Uh, at the very, very beginning of starting this world, I think we had some pigs. And then I did it again. Surrounded by gravel, I dug straight up in a corner where I could possibly have gotten trapped and just suffocated. And uh, then I went right back and did it again. I don't know why. I mean, it wasn't that long ago that I got caught under gravel. Still quite a bit of wood left. I mean, not as much as I would like. I should have started this adventure with a whole stack. There we go. Huh. Right. Do I want to go outside? Oops, apparently I don't. Run away, run away, run away. Alright. Looks like a skeleton and a spider are fighting. So there's that nice peaceful music playing in the background. Which probably means it's close to dawn or just turn night. Not sure which one. Ow. 
So I need to get out of here far enough that I can see the night sky. And it does not look like it is about to turn daytime. Alrighty, I could kill pigs. But I don't really have room to keep them. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. Will you fall to your death? Nope. Dang it, he didn't. Alrighty, since... Since it's night time, I don't feel like... Um, fighting mobs all the way back to base. Um, we'll explore just a little bit more here. Things are falling and breaking their ankles above me. Alright, on the one hand, every time I think I've about got this cave explored, I find more. But on the, on the other, other hand, uh, every time I think that I will never be able to completely explore this cave, I turn a corner and see one of my torches. I don't know which, which one of those feelings is right. And I'm sure I got a psychology professor a long time ago that would say something like, well, feelings aren't right or wrong, they're just feelings. Hello, Mr. Glitchy McSkeleton. Can I find my way back to the surface from here? I believe I can, just have to follow the water. Notice the water... Notice we go from a some kind of biome to a swamp biome because the water changes color there. Alright, where was that opening that led to the surface? Oh great, now I've lost it again. Wait, how many more iron can I carry? About two more. And I'll have to get rid of something. Um... Don't want to get rid of anything. I do want to pick up the last of this iron before I head back. So uh, what I would probably do is wall myself off here. Uh, make some more torches. No, not more torches. Those things you smelt iron with. Furnaces? Yeah. I'll make some furnaces, smelt some iron. Uh, I might make some new armor. At least a new helmet. Looks like that's about to give out. Maybe some new pants. And then I'm going to uh, find my way to the surface. And... Uh, the next adventure will be me trying to find my way home. In the meantime, this is Uncle Troy signing off. Please have a good night.